And we are live in Studio C. It is now our pleasure to welcome in BYU Assistant Athletic Director Casey Stoffer. He does incredible work for uh, BYU, uh, not just at the university level, but certainly for us here in the media as well. Um, Casey, super busy time for you. We just announced upgraded amenities to Lavelle Edwards Stadium yeah. specifically for the corporate yeah. sponsors. We've seen some renderings of that. Um, what can you tell fans about what they're going to see when they come to Lavelle Edwards Stadium and they see these upgrades? Right. Uh, so we have spent a long time. It's been two, three years in the making. So this is a uh, pre-Big 12 idea. It was. Nice. It was. So we actually were planning on this for the 2020 season, and then COVID hit, and we had to, like, dial back just, you know, for financial concerns. Mm -hmm. And so now, moving forward, got the approval to go again, and uh, now we're going to have it ready for the 2022 season. So what fans will see is... Just a, a, the, the experience for our Champions Terrace is for our top 12 corporate partners that become the Champions Club. So the Champions Terrace, originally we wanted to have 84 members in there, uh, but I like it. It, it ended up being 88. So that's the way the numbers <laughs> worked out. So, um, so Champions Terrace for our, our top 12 corporate partners that invest in a very significant way. Uh, in into the athletic department the uh, other side of it with on the west side uh, is our uh, club 22 uh, club 22 is uh, uh, we kind of put out in a press release was a, a lot of what we've done is about telling a historical story yes. about BYU football so obviously champions terrace is is for the 1984 national championship uh, club 22 is a reflection of the 1922 football team that was our first official uh, intercollegiate football team at BYU. Uh, so we have a plaque that's on the wall that kind of talks about their season and the beginnings of BYU football. Wow. Uh, this is 100 years of BYU football. Yeah. Um, the century mark. Now, it, it's not 100 years of playing. There was a couple of years that we yes. took off for the war. Yep. Um, and so we'll be celebrating 100 seasons of BYU football in, in a couple of years from now. But this is the century mark of when it started. And so uh, credit to, to Duff Tittle. He's helped us do a lot of research mm -hmm. uh, on this. And he actually found uh, the game ball from our first victory in 1922. Oh, wow. Wow. That was the only win that year, by the way. It One was against five. Wyoming. One and five. Seven oh, zero. So beautiful. Hey, we that's going to happen again this year. Yeah, so, so we're going to yeah. include that as part of what's in this club. It'll be in a case. Oh, It'll be in a display. case. We have the photo of the original really team. Cool. We wow. think that's the only photo that exists of that team. And, and by the way, where that field was is where the Joseph Smith building is up on campus yes. right now. Yeah. It was up there. They had like a, a, a little grandstand and a track. And it they was did. Like crazy. Yeah. I've read Dust Book. That's it. Yeah. So, yeah. There on the is. right side, yeah, that's, that's um, kind of the looking, looking. We're looking, uh, obviously, east at the mountains there. But how about that? That's cool. Um, some of this is in 22, some is in 23. Correct. And you're, and you're saying this wasn't Big 12 motivated. This was, we no. were doing this regardless. This is, so if you look at the nature of what companies are doing. So if, if you start at the, cor at the uh, uh, professional level and see what corporate organizations are doing, a significant part of what they do in buying assets like suites, loges, uh, hospitality access, that's how they garner a lot of like return on their investment. It's about their experience while they're there. Yeah. And so for us, we've been looking in, in talking to our partners. What do they see? What, what are their pain points when they come to the stadiums? How do they make the experience or how can we make the experience better for them? So taking that feedback and looking at what has been going on in the professional side, that as the pros go, that's you know, there's a lag, but that's also how college sports goes. So we see what gets done and gets implemented, and then we try and do it our own way. And so for us, putting in these hospitality areas and these opportunities for our corporate partners to say, okay, this is something that we're going to invest heavily in, um, has been very, very uh, well received. So, for example, um, 
with uh, the Terrace. We have a, a presenting and title sponsor of that in Smarty that has invested in uh, a significant way to help make that happen with Club 22 PACS. Uh, they're a skilled nursing uh, facility conglomerate that uh, they've come in and invested in a large way for us yeah. to be able to do that. Um, I did. There, there was one thing, and I, I sent in a picture of the candy wall. Someone sent me a, a quote that was like, what's a candy what's wall? What's a candy wall? Like, well, I, I don't want anybody to overthink it, but it's a, it's a wall with candy on it. <laughs> and, and, and so I, we do have a rendering. Shocking. I don't know if that's in it. So if you can Shocking. show that picture, yeah. I just want to make sure that, you know, all the keyboard warriors out there know what a candy, board, <laughs> keyboard candy warriors. wall is. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so uh, while we track down the candy wall rendering, when do you expect all of this to be completed and ready to go? So, uh, <laughs> That was a stressful yeah, sign. Yeah, the, 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 uh, it is expected that it will be done for uh, Baylor. Wow. Let's go. Sept fast. September 10th. Okay. We got yeah. to move, people. Okay. We got to so. move. So hey, four you weeks. Made, you made the video board happen last year. That was a stressful project, too. So, no joke. Last year, like, that was very stressful. We left to go to the Arizona game in Vegas. They were still putting steel beams up <laughs> for the scoreboard. But and, guess and what? I'm on the phone with Newskin yes. going like, I, they tell me it's going to work. They tell me it's going to work. And Newskin says, we've got to have this board working. And uh, It worked and, for the Utah game. It did. And there were plenty of points to put up there. there there's plenty of points. Yeah. I, I, I am glad it was, it was a night game because, like, there was nothing around the outside of it. It's just the frame and then the board. But the board worked. It worked. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, good thing your job's not very stressful. <laughs> yeah, it's super <laughs> stressful. Yeah. Casey Stauffer, BYU Assistant Athletic Director, is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, we're all excited about the Big 12, the potential revenues that come with that. Yeah. How will that impact your job and uh, some future projects that maybe you can tease us about today <laughs> on BYU Sports Nation? Um, you know, I, I, anything that would be teased, that all comes through Tom Homo. So, Good uh, answer. We, we, we we he asked us to ask you that. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we have the best AD in the country. Uh, Tom is very aware of what it takes to, to guide programs uh, and to be successful. I have full support in him and, and his vision. So uh, what I will say is that we are looking uh, specifically on the corporate side yeah. for additional things that can be done. Seating is a big uh, uh, point yeah. of uh, discussion right yep. now. At some point, yeah, and, and uh, from my viewpoint, it's like if you can't expand the press box how can we make this awesome right and in yeah. the future maybe we do who knows yeah thanks for coming on man. yeah uh, man. shout out to the springville uh, dry creek State. that's right yeah let's go we used to be in the same state oh <laughs> fantastic <laughs>